so today I'm going to talk a little bit more about some of those threats to bats that Rob was just talking about. So we did talk a little bit about natural predators. So there are things like raccoons and snakes and owls and hawks that do eat bats. But the greatest danger to bats is from us, from human beings. So the human population is growing really fast. There's, we need more room for our houses and for, we need building materials and farms for food. So before we can talk about how we threaten bats, we also need to understand where bats live. So many bats feed and roost in forests in the, in the summer and they use trees. Uh, they may raise their pups there. But also a lot of bats do use caves. They hibernate there in the winter and uh, some bats actually live in caves year round and they'll raise their babies there in caves as well. So because we need more wood for building and more rooms for houses and businesses, and open fields for farming, we cut down trees and destroy areas where bats can forage and roost. And with so many people, there's also a greater demand for electricity and transportation. And burning fossil fuels like coal and gasoline create heat trapping gases that are, get added to the Earth's atmosphere. And this is causing our climate to warm. And that also causes some other changes like stronger storms. So bats are also losing their habitat when things like hurricanes or strong wind events knock down a lot of their roosting trees. So if you have a chance, you might consider encouraging people to leave dead trees standing. Not all dead and dying trees need to be cut, and they pr provide habitat for a lot of kinds of animals, not just bats. A lot of bats have also learned to adapt to human places by um, using abandoned structures like buildings. So when those buildings collapse or are torn down to make way for new buildings, those bats that have moved into those houses lose their habitat and have to find a new roost. And a little bit later we'll talk about how you can uh, build a bat house or buy a ha bat house so you can provide some habitat for bats that may be losing their habitat. People also change cave environments for, by mining for metals and minerals and also for tourism, sometimes we put in uh, steps like this or we put in gates um, and change the way that the air flows through the cave. And that uh, makes it easier for humans to, to visit, but it makes it more difficult for the bats. So sometimes people also will dump trash and sewage in caves, which doesn't make for great habitat for bats. That, the agency that I work for, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, we work with lots of other agencies like the U.S. Forest Service and bat conservation organizations to install gates also that help uh, to allow bats to safely go in and out of caves but prevent people from going in and disturbing. And this has prevent, pr protected a lot of caves and preserved a lot of bat hibernacula. Pollution is also a problem for bats like Rob mentioned. Uh, humans add a lot of chemicals to the environment that can be harmful to us, but also to animals like bats. And we just talked about how bats eat a lot of insect. They actually eat tons and tons of insect, insects. So many farmers apply pesticides to help keep insect damage under control on crops. But when bats drink water that um, has pesticide residue or eat insects that have come in contact with pesticides, those chemicals can build up in their bodies, and they can also pass those along to their babies, their pups, through their milk. And those pesticides can cause bats to become really sick and die. And sometimes other toxic chemicals are byproducts of things that we do as humans, um, like mining and sewage treatment, and we try to contain those and make sure they don't get into our water supply by storing them in ponds. Well, water, um, standing water is how bats drink, um, they'll fly down and drink the water off the ponds. And so if they drink out of these ponds that have the chemicals in them, they can pick up those chemicals and they can get sick and die. So it's really important for us adults to use pesticides sparingly. And we can all work together to help make sure um, to support clean water in the environment for our health and the health of bats and all other wildlife. And air pollution also is a big problem for bats. So we keep burning those fossil fuels uh, to cre do things like create electricity, and that releases a lot of gases and chemicals that are toxic to animals, including bats. 